God spoke to me that 2011 is a year of advancement. It's a year of things happening quickly. It's a year of acceleration, um, things speeding up as the, the return of the Lord is drawing so near. And I saw a picture of dominoes, and each domino was placed in the specific order that had space in between them. The dominoes were just set up by God just perfectly, and he is ready to hit that first one, and everything's going to happen quickly. And I asked God to give me an example in the Bible of when this happened, and God brought me to the story of King David. When King David wanted to bring the ark of God, the presence of God, back into the city of David. So he went on his own and brought this ark back in, but it didn't work. It did not work. And what happened there is David didn't find the exact order. He didn't find out the exact plan. He had God's heart, didn't he, in bringing the ark back. There was nothing wrong with that. He had the right motives. He had the right um, desire to have God's presence. But see, he went about it the wrong way. He didn't find out God's exact plan. And so many times that happens with us as Christians. We get an idea. We get a dream. We get a prophetic word and we just start running with it. And we don't take the time to ask God, how do you want this to come to pass? And right now God is requiring from us, if we want to be used in the purposes God's given us, if we want to use the talents and the abilities that God has given to us, then we have to find God's order. David spent three months of prayer. He prayed and he fasted and he said, you know what, God, I did this wrong. You tell me how to do this. And I believe that's what's going to happen to us. We're going to take that time and pray. If you're married, get with your spouses. If you're single, get before God. Hear the plan of God, what he wants to do in 2011. And I believe previously, the things that you have tried to accomplish, you didn't have the right plan. And I believe that what was tried previously, if you go before God and you pray and you get God's heart, you're going to find success. When David brought the ark back in, he found success. And he had a heart of thanks, thankfulness before God and a heart of humility. And when he brought that ark, God's presence, back into the city of David, he blessed the, his, um, his people under him. He blessed all of Israel. He blessed his family. And then he got before God and he cried before God. And he said, who am I? that you are mindful of me, O oh God. And see, that's what's going to happen to us when we see that our dreams are being fulfilled because we hear God's plan. And when we see that our purpose in life, we are doing God's purpose in our life, and we are coming together as a church, and we're bringing God's presence into the world, we will have success. Where you have tried previously in your own strength and in your own mind and in, in what you thought was right, this time we are going to have God's perfect heart and we are going to accomplish and we are going to find success. And when David got before God and he had that heart of thankfulness and humility, God then began to bless him, began to give David more blessings than what he even knew. So there's even going to be a mystery revealed to you after you find success. You're going to go before God with that heart of thankfulness and that heart of humility, and you're going to see a secret mystery revealed to you because of your heart and because God loves you, and he wants all of us to come together and to use our gifts, to use our talents and abilities to bring the kingdom of God here. So 2011 is a year of things quickly happening. Hear God's plan, pray, hear his voice, and you will find success.